I was an introvert, I think, um, and the piano was really my way into the world, uh, if, if, as I reflect back, um, because it was my public life through the instrument. Uh, I would have been virtually invisible as a child when I was growing up if it hadn't been for the piano. I was the only kid in the town of 300 taking lessons, and so when the, other, when the tougher kids in town got wind of the fact this is how I spent my time, they just totally intimidated me. And, um, and it was a coming out for me because I realized in order to survive in town, I had to play music they wanted to listen to. And I think the other, the other thing is that the piano really was an opening to my sensory life because I think I was kind of very introverted and closed in. But it, I remember my first experience being near a piano, I just, I just went to it like a gravity pull. I love the smell of the mustiness inside this upright old Heinzmann grand piano. People ask, how come you have such joy when you're at the piano? And I think it's because my first experience with it was so incredibly joyful. I didn't start with a music teacher and a ruler. I started with my aunt kind of just guiding me into the key. So I kind of played to the animals that I imagined lived inside mm -hmm. the piano. And uh, so that, that really was my way into the world and into life, I think, was that mm -hmm. sort of the, the path, being at the piano. And then beginning to grow out so I could include other things later on, but it really started there. I studied uh, literature in college I was an English major, and actually I went to graduate school to, to study uh, literature some more. And the, in graduate school, then I sort of tinkered around a little bit and wondered, well, maybe I could make some of that stuff. And sure enough, I, but, but you know, I was, uh, I was out of college, really, before I wrote anything to speak of. And then it was just tentative, but the, literary magazine at the University of Wisconsin, sure enough, they published a couple of things. And I was mm -hmm. off and running, but it, it, it was uh, the opposite of your experience. I mean, mine came with the literature first and then little by little, the making of it. I think there was a connection for me also with literature because I also love to read. And I read as soon as I got the printed word I was reading. And I made the grand leap from Tom Sawyer to Kane Mutiny when I discovered my mother was a member of the Book of the Month Club. And these books came in. So I moved from the children's to adult literature with a great leap and was just absolutely fascinated with that world that opened up. But I think for me, creating soundtracks at the piano was a big part of my life there. So I didn't really play songs. I created soundtracks for stories. Mm -hmm. And so I think the written word and the spoken word and music were very, very closely connected for me.